have a problem at Babel. Caridian rebels have taken several Federation trade officials hostage. They're threatening to kill them unless the UFP withdraws from the Corridan sector. I'd like you to work with the negotiation team and try to resolve this peacefully. Captain, I need to speak with you in my quarters. I think it's time for that explanation I owe you. Captain? There's more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. All right, your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I could use your help with it. Welcome to the temporal ready room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 for the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. Bring one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll roll Transponder, which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bioscanners. They're short range, but will detect Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we were there. The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed, and not for the better.
Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friend. The computer won't have any details on an Akul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. are showing that one of the delegates is leaving the lounge. Follow him. He might be trying to slip out before you can get a scan. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, 
Should I be concerned? It was my understanding that the transporter filters out biohazards. Is there something I can help you with? I'm well aware of that. I'm weary of listening to the Tellarite ranting at the Vulcan. I'd like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, should I be? Of course. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Looks like they're on the move, though I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. Head back toward the reception. There he is. Wait, that's Ambassador Gar. One down, unlikely more to go. There's nothing we can do for Ambassador Gar, unfortunately. Memory serves. Captain Kirk was attacked next. On deck five. Serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected Nakul technology in engineering. online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov, is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was on Dorzana Station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. 
It's complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces and get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. Divert power to the number four shield. Divert power to the number four shield. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Auxiliary power to engines. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Repair teams to deck five. Good work. Now check on that bomb. The captain's ordering me to cut the power? Uh, I see what he's about. Disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Good luck to you. Energizing. Now, what's this? The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems.
I'm going to try to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon V. That conflict will determine the... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear, a time that will never come again. critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Corridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. Congratulations, Lieutenant. 